When Master Evil comes to play And Mother says that it's okay Alex and Josh are stole away And made to watch these movies To stay alive until the day they made us And welcome to Slash Tracks Halloween Special. I'm your host, Master Evil. And of course, along with me is my lovely assistant, Mr. Flivel. Oh yes, he's such a lovely kitty. Don't you love our Halloween costumes? I I have chosen this mask because I do honestly have a vendetta. And it's inspired me to torture you two really well. <laughs> so, for this Halloween special, and our second number three movie. I am going to torture you with Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. Yes, the only Halloween film that has less Michael Myers then Halloween ends. In fact, Michael Myers actually does show up in this movie, which is totally disconnected from his story. Oh, yes. He appears on a television for about two seconds. Oh, yes, the big villains in this film are a bunch of cultists. You know, Irish cultists who run a mask factory called Silver Shamrock. And they want to start the apocalypse by killing children. Oh yes, on Halloween, or as it is known in the old days. Sawin or Sam Hay. So, Mr. Flizzle and I are going to sit here and watch you two suffer. Just before we go for Halloween and go trick or treating. Oh, yes, we're going to enjoy this, aren't we, you? So, stop the film and enjoy your suffering. Hey, it's a sci fi movie. Universal. Universal Uni shitter. Universal shitter. <laughs> Whoa. Ears. And everybody leaves the, the audience thinking something's wrong with the audio. Is it wrong that I saw the scrambled screen and I immediately got turned on? <laughs> Halloween reminded... 3, season of the son of a bitch. That scrambled... Uh, image right there reminds me of watching the porn station that was scrambled <laughs> when <laughs> I, I was a kid. Every hotel room. Oh my gosh, Josh, I gotta be by myself when I watch this movie, apparently. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Halloween 3, the night Michael Myers stayed home.
Are are you noticing the fonts of the names there, Stacy Nelkin, um, Dan, <laughs> or it looks like they're guest star- guest starring on like an episode of MacGyver or something? Look at that. Were they like in post production and fucked up all the animations and said, you know what, it's a horror movie, just run with it. No, they're trying to. Once they made this movie right here, you see what how the screen is like. These little dots are, you know, moving across. They're trying to fix the shitty movie they made later on by defragging the whole film. <laughs> There's like little Tron people in here trying to get out. They're like, we even know that we don't want to be in this film. Like, see, it's one of those little Tron races going on on the screen. Okay, the movie should have started like three hours ago. What, what are we doing here? I don't know, but if I would like, if I had seen this movie in the theaters when I was a kid, this would have definitely been an opportunity to go pee or go get more popcorn. Three hours later, John Carpenter's probably like, oh, like got his hand over his face in the back of the audience at the premiere. That oh, one, God. that one, right before that one, uh, looked like Oregon Trail. That looked like it was carving a road for the old Oregon Trail game. It looks like the kind of stuff you would print off in the library. Like back in grade school. You know, us 80s kids. And it would come off on the sheets that had that you had to pull the tabs off the side yes. with the holes in the side. Yes. Because the printer paper was just crap. This comes out of a box as it feeds through the printer. <laughs> Doesn't say what city, it just says Northern California. Wine country. So he's hauling ass right here, Josh. He's attempting to run away from the people that want to cast him in this film. <laughs> They're like, come back. There they are. Looks like an episode of The Walking Dead. Look at all the cars. They're like covered in rust and dirt. This is the, that, the little area down there is where John Travolta beat Craterface. In the Grease car race uh, at the end of the movie there. Grease Lightning. So, Michael uh, Myers. Go ahead. <laughs> Michael Myers will cream for Grease Lightning. Go, 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 go. So, uh, Alex, you're the head of music for the movie. Should we use, like, I don't know, the song Season of the Witch for the beginning of this movie or really annoying uh, computer digital sounding shit? What do you think? Well, I attempted to contact the people that made the hit song Season of the Witch, and when they ask what production the film, uh, our film that we were making, uh, that their amazing song would be attached to, they laughed in our face and threw us out of the office. So we had to go with the the techno synth. Okay. All right. You don't think that's going to, like, drive audiences away? No, I just think the idea of uh, Halloween without Michael Myers might drive a few people out of the audience after they realize he's not going to show up past the 38, 30 minute mark and they've been waiting for him. Everybody's thinking at this point, Michael Myers is driving the car. He's involved. <laughs> he's coming. <laughs> he's going to be here for sure. He's going to jump out of the back of that El Camino. Oh, he changed masks. Now he looks like a vacuum salesman. Okay, that's the. What? <laughs> He didn't put put up much of a fight, did he, Josh? No. And the other guy's not really putting much effort into it either. Yeah, he's kind of tired of doing the doing his job. He's just he's quiet quitting right now, Josh, the guy trying to kill him. Like he's trying to kill him, but he he showed up. He's got to do it, but he doesn't really have any gusto for it anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god, they killed Jared Kushner, you bastards. Is that a Ford LTD? Because 
I used to have one of those. <laughs> That's like one of my first cars. They're, they're as long as a boat. Oh. Oh, hey, Alex. Uh, you're also the head of, uh, you know, the storyboarding and, and coming up with the story for the script. Should we have witch witches or like Irishmen in business suits? For the witches. Oh, I Irishmen all the way. Okay. And that guy better be careful. He's in a freaking junkyard at night. A dog is going to piss fire on Freddy's bones here in a second. And then he's really going to be screwed. <laughs> One hour later. That, that was that that was the late that was supposed to be during the credits uh, when the movie actually started at the beginning. Do you know what would be funny is if it said one hour later and then another font comes up, you know, text and it says still in Northern California. <laughs> oh, a little uh, tidbit for everybody. Stonehenge there. There's a little piece of Stonehenge in every mask that they that kids wear when they get killed or whatever in the movie. Little. Too much information I should know, but it's from narrating the uh, book. Hey, he was in a, he was in a few movies back in the eighties. Halloween, fuck this movie. So, uh, music guy, should we just uh, pick the most annoying jingle ever made and play it over and over in this film? Absolutely. Um, can you tell that those, like the visual, the audio, like the visual, you know, what we're looking at on his TV screen was probably not actually on that TV screen. It was put in in post. I could tell. Yes, that was uh, pretty see, obvious. <laughs> I could see that the masks were almost going over the side of the TV that they were supposed to be on. The actor was like, I'll do the movie. I'll get in front of your camera. But if you play that goddamn jingle in that commercial, I'm not doing it. And he was like the tenth person to tell him that. So they're like, okay, we'll put it in post. Shit. So is this guy trying to sell anything at the gas station, or is he just hanging out after hours? Does he live here? Because there's no lights on in the business. He's a condescending asshole. There was like a sign on the front that said, need gas, with a question mark. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> Just pulling up to the pump for no goddamn reason. You know, the prices of gas in Northern California are very high this time of year. Michael Myers, I need my mask. <laughs> no, he, that guy's pissed because he just got his bill for the gas. Ah, they're coming. The porn stuff at the beginning. It, 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 I'm, I'm connecting the dots here. Scrambled porn, man. When I was a kid, we would my friends and I would synchronize our watches on Friday afternoon, <laughs> where to meet up and how we were gonna set in the living room. We had to be like six feet apart from each other. It was a big deal. We had have boner pillows from the couch. We have, me and my uh, brother used to try to do that anytime we went to a hotel or something. We'd try to tune in. It'd be all scrambled. Okay, this guy's name is Tom Atkins or something like that, right? He was, he's like a big actor. Uh, sure. <laughs> I haven't, uh, see, I, I haven't really seen him in much. That, and I'm just, just a rumor, that he wanted the love story with the character uh, that's like not even half his age <laughs> that comes up later. You mean the girl that's in our thumbnail? Yes. <laughs> He looks like he's talking to his daughter in that thumbnail. Mm-hmm. We've already talked about this on the podcast, but the 80s were definitely a wild time, Josh. Like, Tom Atkins right there. Y you think he's probably in his late 40s? People lived a completely different life back then. He's, he's probably 27 right here. <laughs> Maybe 26. So their plan was to kill all the kids on Halloween with three Halloween masks as if, you know, no kid's going to be Batman or Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, especially in the 80s. Like, I was Spider-Man, He-Man, a Smurf. Um, and we had those plastic masks that had the terrible tiny little nostril holes in the front and the piece of rubber band that would snap six minutes into Halloween. Okay, his pupils are dilated. 
The pumpkin is dilated. Three centimeters. So nobody took the mask out of his hands, the EMTs, nobody. As he had no CSI investigators have looked into the evidence. He hates the jingle, too. Look at that. It brought him out of his coma. <laughs> Get me out of here. Not us, the, the children. Tom Atkins is looking at him, like, romantically, kind of. Like, he's gazing into his eyes. Or he's all, what are they, what, what they going to do? Is he can I take you? Me? Yeah, is, can I take him to dinner if he survives, nurse, after this? Oh, there's a scary, spooky witch. Is this, Mike, is this Michael Myers? No, nope, it's a oh, witch. <laughs> damn it. It's not Michael Myers. Damn it. Season of the Witch has, like, men in business suits and robots. That's what this movie is. Season of the Witch. Robotic business witch men. <laughs> Dude, he's holding that pumpkin mask like Linus holds his safety blanket. Nobody has taken that from him yet. That's a little... Okay, my wife's a nurse, and that doctor's a little... Yeah, yeah, I don't want to think about that. A little handsy? Like, he, he needs to scrub his hands if he's going to be grabbing her asshole while working on patients later on. Better scrub up, Doc. Let's get liquored up before I do that surgery. He hasn't even washed got, his hands once. Well, he's he's got he's got to he's got to wash his hands soon. He's got to do the surgery to remove that pumpkin mask from that guy's hands. Apparently, it's like stuck. Yeah, they're gonna have to do a fingerotomy. They're just going. It's a very advanced procedure where they just chop his fingers off that are the ones that are holding onto the mask. Oh, the life of a doctor. Why does he? <laughs> Why does he have his shirt unbuttoned all the way down to the chest meat? <laughs> to show like, off that 80s chest hair. Well, I mean, he's, you know, he's a young guy. He's like 26, 27, just got out of med school. <laughs> this is his first uh, real job after college. He's in orientation. Yeah. I don't understand why a robot needs gloves. Uh, why that, can't... <laughs> never he, understood that. That guy's the only one. He's supposed to be the villain. He's actually the hero. He's the only one actually... Uh, practicing proper sanitation or you know he's putting gloves on in a sterile environment but you got the doctor with his nipples hanging out of his shirt not washing his hands are you sure we can't go with my original idea for the movie halloween three season of the legs wait you're not on the visitors list get the hell out of here <laughs> busy hours are over you did not pay for that mask Target security. This is what we do to people like you, see? Hey, wouldn't it be funny if he grabs his nose and is like, got your nose? <laughs> Instead, it's got your eye. I got your nose. He can still breathe, though. He was... What? Oh. Damn. What? What did he just... Okay. That just happened. Wait. His face looked like one of the Ronald Reagan masks in the Land of Confusion Genesis videos right there after they like, after he died. I thought you were about to tell me it looked like the mask that they used for, you know, Captain Kirk mask for Michael Myers. <laughs> okay. I'm I just thought... wiping blood on the curtains. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just visiting a friend. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Did somebody grab my nurse's ass besides me? The patient was hitting on you, wasn't he? It's not the nurse screaming. It's just the guy because he took his mask away. He's wearing clothes underneath his doctor's coat where he could, where he could be the Marlboro Man. He like literally is just wearing like street clothes <laughs> underneath that. Yeah, he's definitely in his early twenties. He's got the stamina. He's very. Spry. I would be out of breath. Yeah, he's. I'd be like, Look at him. Okay. Woo! <sighs> Hold on a second. Hey, did you kill my patient? <laughs> did you hit on my patient? Hey! He's like, God damn it, that's the third time this week. Wait a minute. 
that car would not explode that quickly. How come in the eighties all car all cars immediately explode? At what point did this did the assassin robot have a chance while chasing the guy with the mask to stop and fill up a little can of gas? He already got gas at the gas station. So he knew Earth, that the, the guy was going scene. to uh, escape and try to warn people? Exactly. Oh, all the robots have to carry gas with them at all times. It's, it's rolls of the witches. What? Hold on one second. Is that guy in the fire department? And the only way you know he's in the fire department is because he's wearing a hat with a big F on it. Uh, otherwise, he has no fire department stuff on. There, there's no real fire department in this town, so they had to like call in uh, Fireman Friendly from Sesame Street. Seriously, that guy is wearing a hat with an F on the front, and then the doctor, who's supposed to be the doctor, the only reason you know he's a doctor is because he's in a hospital setting, and he's got a lab coat on. And the F is, like, about to fall off of that hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's why it is wobbling. A wobbly, wobbly, a wobbly, wobbly. If you go back and watch that later, which I don't think anybody will, it looked like the two people, the fireman and the cop, were, were like, can you believe we're in this movie? And the guy's, like, shaking his head like, no. Oh, my God. Doctor, you look stressed. I haven't seen you this upset since they said they were out of mustache wax. Where does chest hair go? I don't know. Yeah, but... Exa Did he shave his chest in between scenes? I swear he had a big old thing of chest hair earlier. Man, the continuity back in back in this day was a whole lot different. Sunday, Sun the twenty fourth, still in Northern California. He beat me to it. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's the actress <laughs> that looks like she's like eighteen. He wanted her to be his love interest? Yes. Because from what I heard. From what I heard. Be why? Was it germane to the script or he just wanted to bang her in he real just life? Wanted to, I guess he wanted to have like the sex scene and stuff. Well, well he was that the old college try? Good for him. And that's my father's mask. She's got a nose like a uh, who? Like... Like in the Grinch? Look at her nose. Looks like a who. The cop said that some crazy guy killed himself in his car afterwards. Must be drugs. So this whole thing happened just because some guy in a business suit was high on something. He was, he that's, was that's eating paint work. chips. <laughs> yeah, we are basing this totally on no crime scene work at all. This is all just a hunch. And we are just making this up as we go. It's drugs. Just crazy Irish businessman, which drug use, it happens all the time here in Northern California. Especially around this time of night. He's like, that's hot. <laughs> it's all those stripes are really doing it for me. Oh, the movie's over. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wednesday the 27th at the coroner's office still in Northern California, California. see a businessman She needs to take a breath when she's delivering her lines, Josh. Yes. Her, the direction was like, just say your lines, like pretend like you are a fully automatic machine gun when you're speaking. I want no enunciation, and I want you to take no pauses. Oh, by the way, Doc, should I take something if I'm hearing people like making fun of me in my head? <laughs> The doc, the doctor, the doctor's like, you said you were worried about, you said you were worried about, um, some of some health concerns earlier before all this madness happened because you know you are such a young man, you know your body's changing, you know you just experienced puberty a few years ago. 
<laughs> oh my god. What is going on here? Friday the 29th. Still in Northern California. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever been in a bar that was showing cartoons. And I worked in bars where I had control of the TV for years. Oh, Michael Myers. That's really interesting. I didn't know they did that in this film. They had to have him there for a second. So that way they, they knew people would bitch about Michael not being in the movie, you know, years later. And they could be like, nope, he was in it. Why does I'm, this bar look like it's set up like Mr. Feeney's classroom, you know, on the show to make it look like there's more students than there is, you know, like it's just half the classroom? Yeah, <laughs> I, do, I do know what you're saying. And why is Minkus in the bag? <laughs> Check her ID. How did they know? Wait, how did she know where Dan Chalice was? There, This is the early 80s. There's no cell phones. There's... No GPS. He didn't leave a tweet saying where he'd be. She saw his uh, video dating tape where he said this is his local. That's his. That's his hangout. <laughs> she's um, she's the supernatural one in this film because she actually knows where people are without <laughs> the aid of social media or or cell phones. Had and he he said he, what a cut away wow what a cut that was like so weird <laughs> this is a really interesting choice of how to film that scene right here uh, we're gonna set the camera up right behind the rakes. Look how look how little C L O is on clothes compared to the rest of the world. <laughs> yeah, whoever was in charge of putting the letters on the window for the storefront really phoned it in. There's another quiet quitting example in this film. There's our thumbnail. Good, because the actual detectives <laughs> were just like drugs, case closed. <laughs> good, good, because nobody else in Northern California is doing jack shit. And the one fireman, it was no help. He just said his alphabet over and over again. Is he the? Is she the one who runs the store? Where is the? They just walked into a store that oh, nobody was. Dad, it, it was her dad's store. He figured out what they were doing with the masks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How did he figure it out? He like tracked it back to the to the barcode of the sales she, of the masks, or what? The company or something. So they're going to go investigate it. So they Maybe have access we'll there on Sunday the 31st <laughs> in Northern California. <laughs> Man, they have access to her father's store. You know, he's dead now. There's got to be some candy and soda pop in there. Why don't they grab a couple couple things for the road? He's not there to charge them. He's passing up a weekend with his kids to go help her investigate. He doesn't care about her dad. I can't remember. He's got a six pack of beer. He's got an underage female with him that he wants to bone. Uh, he didn't wash his hands after touching that freaking payphone. He's a doctor. Doesn't he have a shift later on? This guy is making some poor life decisions here, Josh. Father of the year. More dance party. Big screen TVs. Man, those TVs back in the day probably cost so much money. Did they eat the kid that made the commercial? Or whatever they do with him? No, he's working for him. They're, they're not going to kill the Golden Goose, man. Hey, post-production voices. I love it. <laughs> I love post-production voices. It's so hilarious. You know they're just sitting in the studio right next to each other, smoking a cig and reading from a pamphlet. Yes. Is this Northern California, Josh? I would never know because they haven't told us yet. 
I know, right? They need to let us know. Why has that guy got a collar shirt under his plaid shirts? He sweats a lot. He doesn't want to sweat through that good flannel. Okay, we're in Santa Mira. <laughs> Home of Silver Shamrock Novelties. Need gas. That's an N? That that's that's an N? Looks like a barn. Not a lot of traffic in the afternoon in uh Dublin, huh? So all these people are witches. They're all looking at them pull into town like the witches' heads look at Dorothy Gale. In Return to Oz. I'd love to riff that. We're They're in Nilbog. They're in Nilbog. The doctor's about ready to piss on the... <laughs> piss on the food in the inn. You can't piss on hospitality. I won't allow it. Wish we had saved that one for a little later. They drove all the way to this town with no plan. They just had a six-pack of beer and a prayer. <laughs> Sounds like an 80s song. <laughs> oh, we're halfway there. Oh. Why didn't they go stay at the Dublin Inn? You know, that looked like a feed store. <laughs> I don't know, but those houses, that this motel right here looks just like... My hometown of Coos Bay, down in the like, really poor part of town in Empire. It's like the bad, bad part of town. Looks just like it. You've come to the right place to bring your underage bride with you. Everybody looks the other way here. No, he's like, that guy's 27 years old, man. That girl's 24. It's the they 80s. Did a complete circle in the town. They passed that gas station when they first got to town and then came back to it uh, to ask if they could stay there. Not suspicious at all. They, damn, a lot of people have stayed in town for it being so such a company town. That book had more comments than some of our earlier YouTube videos. My husband's the Flash. All of his clothes are in his ring. What hotel person that works the front desk also unloads your trunk when you're checking in? In what world does that happen? Just friendly Irish folk. Man, this guy just screams pedophile. Like, look at this guy. Maybe that's why he's okay with the uh, other dude. It is The Walking Dead. No, that's Walter White, man. He's he's so confident in his skills as Heisenberg now. He's just got a big W on the side of his RV. Bicycle, bitch. Is she a Ghostbuster? What is she wearing? Wait, really? Wait a minute. So they have a child who's a redhead. How, now, I don't know if the genetics are checking out with the hair color on those two individuals to produce that not, child. Did you not see how she was like, glad to meet you? Hmm. What does the factory have to do with you not being able to break properly, bitch? Thank you for hopping out of your car and unloading your problems onto me, a complete stranger. Have a nice day. <laughs> There's a llama out there. I came here to get laid. I, I, all these other things are, sound like you problems. We're not going to the factory first. We're each drinking... Three beers from that six pack. We're gonna get naked and things are gonna get a little, get a little weird. Then we'll go to the factory. 
You ever been with a man three times your age? Well, it's like three o'clock. He, the guy's actually, he's, I, I've been lying. He's not 27. He's actually 67. He, he's time to go night night. He's, he's like, <laughs> we're not going to the factory. It's two o'clock. I've got to go to bed. We don't got a golden ticket. My dad just died. And you're like really old like my dad was. I'm really conflicted. So he's cheating on his wife then? No, they're split up. He, he was supposed to pick his kids up for the weekend. He was grabbing her ass in the hospital, wasn't he? No, that was a nurse. That was an old lady nurse. <laughs> oh, so he's just a dirtbag. Yeah, he's just a dirtbag. Okay. He, gave up a, he gave up Halloween weekend with his kids to go with her. And he does not care <laughs> about what's going on. She wouldn't be romantically interested in him. This is ridiculous. Her dad just died. And she's like looking at him like, we don't have to go to sleep. This is ridiculous. So I'm assuming that they had sex... Yes, they just had sex. <laughs> you know, Halloween masks that cause people to go crazy and kill themselves. I can believe that. That guy sleeping with that gal. Turn nope. the movie off. No, nope. It's over. <laughs> I'm not buying it. I don't think no, that I'm was sorry. in the movie at all. I think he was supposed to be like just a heroic doctor guy that wanted to help somebody. He's like, no, nah, we're going to we're going to we're going to screw. You got to write that in there. Okay, you realize, like, she's, like, 20, and your character's, like, the same age as her dad. Write it in the script, or I'm not doing the movie. He didn't even get... All he did was got, like, one little busted-ass smoocheroony, though. We didn't even get to see any good stuff. Not even any, uh, you know, squiggle lines or anything. We see nothing. Uh, I'm glad for that, actually. <laughs> Uh-oh, there's a predator in town. And it's not, and it's not the guy at the hotel with the twenty-year-old. Predator, no predators only go after other predators, like <laughs> other threats. So yes, he would be trying to kill the doctor because he's perving out on the young girl. Would it? Would a predator porn movie still just be called Predator? Yes, and when they did, the, when the predator was looking at the doc here, and he's like heat vision, the only weapon he would sh show, like coming up, like red, would be in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Woof, woof, woof. Uh, when someone says they don't have any diseases, that sounds like something that someone with diseases would say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't. I just met you. Okay, I'm a bum in the in the alleyway here. I don't have any diseases or anything. Can I take a pull off your bottle of booze? No herpes. I don't have syphilis or anything in my eyes or my mouth or uh, gonorrhea or anything, but uh, if I did, would that could it, would it prevent me from getting a little po a hoot, hoot of that hooch? He's in a giving mood, Josh. Uh, he just got to have sex with a 20-year-old. He's on cloud nine right now. You could ask him for anything, and he'd probably say yes. He's on cloud 90. Yeah. <laughs> His age. <laughs> I'm dead anyways. I've got a bunch of diseases. I lied. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to be dead soon, too. That they're all witches, and they're going to put a commercial on TV that's going to make kids' heads turn into spiders and snakes. It's very specific, sir. Man, for being a doctor... He doesn't take um, the proper precautions for his own cardiovascular health or his own liver health or anything. He's just drinking the entire film, smoking, slapping nurses on the asses, nailing unprotected sex, unprotected sex with like people he just met. Uh, he's wearing really tight pants. He's got a lot. <laughs> he's gonna kill his sperm a sperm count. He's got a lot of issues here. He needs to work out. Oh, it's a junkyard. Here comes Freddy. <laughs> you shouldn't have... a junkyard in this movie. <laughs> you shouldn't have put me in this movie. I'm not dead yet. Is that his house? <laughs> Beautiful. Hey. Oh. Nectar of the gods, man. He cheese Whiz? Okay, I don't believe he's a bum, because Cheese Whiz is expensive as shit. Where did somebody get a flashlight that makes that noise when you turned it on? 
Oh, he's got one too. See? He stole the cheese whiz and it's expensive and they're pissed. <laughs> you, what's are they gonna kill him? Or is something else about to happen here? They're gonna make him suck his robot dick. <laughs> <laughs> I think he is. Oh my god. Is that what's happening? Oh, he's giving head. Yep, he gave head. For a second there, the cut when it cut to the guy's face, the way he was shaking his head and his hands. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. He didn't even rip that guy's head off. It was just his robot load was so powerful it blew his head right off his shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> but laughing at your own jokes. It went off like a shotgun blast right through that fucking guy's neck. I'm sorry that I honked my horn right as you walked by. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm just a bitch. And I'm a nosy cunt. And they're so lucky that every kid in America just wants to forego superheroes and princesses this year and just be either a witch, a generic witch, pumpkin, or skeleton. Yeah, like like they didn't plan for the contingency that that might be poor kids uh, going dressed as hobos, uh, you know, or yeah. like sacks of potatoes or whatever. Like, so she just told her the mask are even cheap. Look, the the emblem came off of this one. And this this is actually a pretty cool scene, uh, if I'm if I'm being fair to this shitter of a movie. You're gonna let Master Evil hear you say that? Are you yes. fucking nuts? So those those little emblems have a little bit of uh, what did I say earlier? Stonehenge. Stonehenge in them. Oh oh oh. Boobies. Oh. Boobies. Boobies. 70s bush. Wow. She had to go watch the old man stank off of her. <laughs> She's like, I can't believe I did that. Oh, oh my God. Oh my she wasn't God. Even, she wasn't even in the shower. That wasn't heat from the shower water. That was just the steam from his old man load seeping out of her pores. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> like the fog. Like, what was the purpose of that scene? Do you see how, like, she wrapped herself up and, like, put her head down? Like, she's so sad and disappointed in herself. Because whoever was filming that was like, we need a chance to see this girl as sexy as possible, and maybe she'll pull that blanket up by accident. We could see some more 80s bush. <laughs> she thinks that the ashes were mixed up because it was just metal and plastic. <laughs> You can't so, assume it was just a robot? In in what world is the coroner... Sending all, plastic? <laughs> well, the coroner isn't also the forensic, like, person who, like... Ch like, they have a, another... Per they send it to another lab. Yeah, I mean, Dexter would love that if he had that opportunity. Yeah, they don't get to do everything. Like, oh, she wants more. Oh, my God. You just had to wash it all off. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, this scene seems like Atkins said this is how it's going to be. He's he's totally unfocused here. Um, he's like trying to figure out what's going on with this company, and and she's also totally distracted. Her dad just got murdered, and all they're thinking about is having some weird uh, sexual tryst here in Dublin. Oh my god, I think he's really Okay. Was he, was he I really? saw suction. There was suction there. Wow. Wow. Poor actress. You know who he looks like? He looks like he looks like Dr. Jerry Buss, the guy who used to own the Lakers forever. <laughs> he also looks like that guy that was in Deadwood. Ran one of the bars in town. It might actually be him. I don't know. No, that guy's got a weird name. He passed away a couple years ago. I don't think it's the same minute. guy. He was. You're so you're saying he looked like he was in dead wood. <laughs> yeah, I mean he is getting older here, Josh. He's 
got to be 75, 76 at this point. He's he might have dead wood. Boom. Now he's asking how old she is. So you're 17. <laughs> how old are you? Yeah. He's like, you no, know, wait a second. How old are you really? <laughs> Well, Josh, you know, everybody knows that in your late 40s and 50s, uh, 20-year-old uh, babes throw themselves at you all the time. Oh, yeah. Because that's totally a thing, unless you're a billionaire. Oh, yeah, this is the scene, I think, that I said is actually pretty, pretty cool. Because the whole point is you're supposed to have the mask on whenever they play the commercial on Halloween night, and it's mm -hmm. going to activate the stone. Well, the emblem came off of her mask, and she tries to fuck with it, so it kind of gives you a preview of, uh, this is, this is what's supposed to scare people, I guess. There are some hotels that, that still look like they're decorated, uh, to this time period. If you go into certain hotels or motels in the United States, some of them never updated the decor, and they look just like that. That's the scariest part of this film. Are they going at it again? Who cares? Let's, let's, let's have some more depressed because your dad died sex. That's the most unbelievable part of this film. The fact that they're saying this guy can have sex like three or four times in one day. Are you kidding me? Is that not pretty cool, though? The effects right there? That, that, that's pretty gruesome. That does look really good. And that's actually what the guy who said he didn't have any disease had when he shared the <laughs> bottle in the alleyway. Must be the season of the itch. She's like, hey, wake up. I'm ready again. Yeah. The car that just really, oh, okay. man, really, come on. come on. He didn't even put any underwear on. He just put his ass cheeks straight into his pants. He's going commando. He pulls the zipper up. Oh, my God. Oh, cut. Cut, cut it. Cut it. Cut it. How'd you get the beans above the Frank? Well, that looks completely normal. They came to get the young girl because he's murdered her vagina all night. <laughs> it probably looks like that other woman's face now. It, yeah, he's been. It looks like a paint by numbers at this point. It looks like a fucking broken up, uh, messed up jigsaw puzzle. She's going to need it. Here he is now. <laughs> Good to see you here in Northern California on Saturday, the 30th. October 30th. Oh, okay, yes. That sounds legit. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> oh, yes. The Halloween Mask Factory. <laughs> where, all, where all patients should be treated. Of course. I had my hernia surgery at a factory when I was 14, so... Stop asking questions. I want to go have sex again. <laughs> One more minute till sex again, sex again, sex again. One more minute to sex again, silver I have, nutting. I have a Michael Jackson nose. That's that. She had her nose done in a factory. That's what it is. Yeah, there is something crazy going on. You're sleeping with that guy. She's like, yeah, Miss Fire. It's not the first one tonight. He's all, I'm a doctor. It's a, there's a technical term for it. It's called whiskey dick. <laughs> Don't trouble yourself with these technical, huge English vernacular words that I've been throwing around. Just, oh, I'm no. ready. Let's have sex. Oh, no. Saturday, <laughs> the 30th. We're not really sure if we're still in Northern California, though. 
Do you think that this lady, the coroner, filmed all her scenes in one day? I think so. All I've got is O-rings and a radiator and a <laughs> and a and a gas cap and no sleep in like three days. <laughs> Just sitting here by the phone. There's transistors and a solenoid in his body. <laughs> she she was supposed to write down Colonel Cochran, and she just put down Conal Cochran, C O N A L Conal. <laughs> That's what she did, wrote. <laughs> did she just negotiate more lab work for a date with the doctor? Yep, and it's bugged. So did every he... woman is throwing themselves at uh, this guy. Everybody wants to fuck the doctor. <laughs> I'm starting to kind of want to. Well, I, me too, and I'm I'm a little <laughs> worried about it, to be honest with you. Um, and it's also making me wish that I went to school to be a doctor. <laughs> you show up, you go to school for twelve years, you graduate, and then you get all the all the poontang you can handle. <laughs> Did you not see it at the bottom of the screen that day? Yeah, it was it was in plain English. It was telling you exactly what day it was and what time it was and where what geographic region it was in. Okay. I do not believe that guy's name is Brad, not for a second. He did say, to hell if I don't change my ways. Uh, he didn't say to me, but he told me on Thursday the 17th that he told you, but you weren't paying attention because you were sleeping with a stranger at that time, and you weren't yeah. paying attention. He told me he was heading back to his store. He had to close it because his daughter was too busy screwing old men. <laughs> and being a whore that she is. That's all I know about her is that she's a whore, and he's the worst father in the world and a piece of shit. Ever. That's all I he's, know. He's been gone for three days at this point. The kids were excited for Halloween. He's been gone drinking MGDs, uh, sipping on a bottle of booze in an alleyway with a stranger who's a homeless guy who's sucking down cans of cheese whiz. Meanwhile, he's smoking cigs in the hotel, blowing loads in the 20-year-old girl he just met. Yeah, like, I'm kind of rooting for the man witches now. That guy looks a lot like Ted Baxter from the Mary Tyler Moore show. He was in Caddyshack. He played the judge. He was in Is Too Close him? for Comfort. No, but it looks a lot like him. Bushwood. You, you all get a tour of the factory, even without a golden ticket. And I'm a poet and didn't... Realize that I was one. If they're not too busy screwing each other to death. Alex has left the building. No, I fell asleep for a little bit. <laughs> So this is where we make the shitty movie. I mean, the shitty masks. Hey, they got Master Evil's likeness. That looked like the mask from the witches from when we were kids. That almost looked like the Angelica Houston witches face. By the way, that movie, so good. So very good. We all love the witches, don't we, people? We love it. The remake, not so much. The remake sucks. They got, like, zipper faces when they reveal their real form. Stupid. I haven't seen the remake, and now that you've given it such a pristine review, I will never see it. Instead of, like, how creepy they are when they take off their hair and everything, in the remake, they just, like, unzip their face, and it's, like, CGI stuff. It's like when Doug goes to the scary movie on, you know, when we were kids on Nicktoons, and then he sees the monster has a zipper on the back of his outfit. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, he did, really. Stick. He invented sticky toilet paper? Yeah, try telling that to every guy ever. I was actually, when I was younger, I thought I was the inventor of sticky socks. <laughs> He made racist toys, too. Did you see that? Yeah, oh my yeah. God. Those look like Skeletor, man. Skeletor, the only thing that the uh, Masters of the Universe movie did really amazing in the original. Frank Langella, who played Skeletor, was phenomenal. He just didn't have movie. the high-pitched voice. He didn't need it. But it was great. That was the yeah, best part. I concur. There you are, kid. Let me shake your head around a little bit. Where did this guy get food? He's just a dumb woman. Don't ask me. Where did the fat guy get food? And does he, does he have to be eating because he's fat? I'm not understanding this. Did he just shut the door on his wife? And <laughs> he slammed the door on his, bo on, on his boss for there. So Buddy here, the guy, is actually the top salesman of their masks. So he was invited there and was told to be sure to bring his wife and kid for a tour. But it's really so they can test out the mask on the kid. Another one of the like, there's like four good scenes in the movie. We're about to see number two. <laughs> okay, if I'm the doctor and I'm getting a tour of the factory, I'm asking where is the patient from last night located? Yeah, where's the medical wing? Yeah, can we go check on her at the medical wing of this um, Halloween mask facility? Why does she look like Baby Jane? What is she wearing? And why is she in love with, like, every man that we've seen in the movie? Like, she hit on the doctor, now she's talking about the colonel guy. Where's Michael Myers at? He's out there somewhere. What are they laughing at? Did I miss something? Yeah, it's our time for our two o'clock screwing. I gotta pick up a carton of Pall Malls, a bottle of Bushmills, and some of that sweet, sweet tang. And I'm holding in a massive fart, so just keep walking. Robots, they all look alike. Is that is that robot uh, licensed to drive a forklift like that? That's so they just had the happened to have the car uncovered just enough for her to notice, like the uh, Ecto One in the little teaser trailer for Afterlife. <laughs> Afterlife, uh, by the way, when the kids take that the Ecto One out for a cruise, that is like. Just a phenomenal scene. That He had a dream about that scene, and that's what inspired him to make the movie. Them finding the car and then going off on a joyride? Just uh, the teenagers driving it in a field like that. I like it when they were actually chasing the ghost. And, <laughs> she's and like, like... Oh, go ahead. No, and she's like on the side gunner. Like, the, oh, hell the door yeah. pops open. She lady here was like, I, I saw it. I know I saw it. And he's like, no. I swear I don't have herpes. It's 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 a it's a mole. He's like, we were at the mask facility. You should have just asked for the morning after pill while we were there. Okay, keep in mind the door was left open right there. Okay. You said it wrong. Supposed to go, hello. Is he calling the coroner again? I dialed zero. <laughs> what the hell? He should have used 10-10-220. I pity the fool that doesn't use 10-10-220. I oh remember. Oh my god. It's such a movie trope. I love it. Hello? Fire department? Hello? Blockbuster video? Hello? <laughs> Hospital? It's like, so we know who they're talking to. <laughs> I remember the old days and uh, like in order, like on the Andy Griffith show, I've used to watch that all the time. They would 
they would only be able to talk to the operator and she would be on a switchboard and would like, you'd be like, give me the police department, damn it, or whatever. And then they would like actually have to connect you with the cord on the board. I think for the next month, I'm going to do the old movie phone challenge. Any, any place I call them, be like, hello, McDonald's? Hello? Just, Why? I was, hey, I was just thinking about this the other day. Does McDonald's doesn't take to-go orders. Do they, have a, do they have a phone at McDonald's? Can you call them? Yeah, you can call there and complain, you know. Y'all, y'all messed up my burger. I want Who the hell one. is answering the phone at McDonald's? Chief Chili Fry Makers. I don't know. Grimace actually answers the phone now because he's not in commercials anymore. And Birdie? <laughs> no, the hamburger does. What does he used to say all the time? Wobble, wobble. <laughs> it's like, listen, I want to talk to somebody that speaks English, not the fucking hamburger. I got to tell you about how you messed my, my fucking meal up. A wobble, wobble, a wobble, wobble, wobble. Damn, he's pretty, he's pretty spry. He's like part ninja, doctor. Well, of course he is. You know how li- much lighter he is than at the beginning of the film? He's blown like 10 loads. He's not carrying around all that semen in his ball sack right now, Josh. He's much lighter. They didn't even have to kidnap her. They just told her that there's like a man 10 years older than the doctor at the factory that wants to meet her. And she's like, oh, shit, let's go. Can I, can I grab my 90? What? Wait a second. They went there on a whim, like on a whim. They had no time. They didn't even pack anything. And she already had a 90 in that little bag. She had uh, one. There was actually a 90, like a fire extinguisher at the hotel. It was break in case of emergency. She just, it was an emergency. Okay. She broke it. I thought maybe she borrowed it from the guy that ran the hotel or something. But no, think about that for a second, folks. They, they, had, they, they did not plan on going. They hopped in the car and drove straight there. No luggage, just one bag, one little tiny like lunchbox looking bag. And she has this fucking nighty. She's like Ted Bundy, man. She had a kill kid. Ah, gotcha. She had it just strategically positioned in this town just in case she's there when she wants to sleep with a guy who's 40 years older than her. Duh. She likes, she likes to bind. She likes to be bound. This guy has had sex four times already in this film. We saw that he put his pants on without any underwear in an earlier scene. They don't have any changes of clothes. He is running around this town with the worst case of sex dick and swamp ass in the history of human civilization. And if one more light comes on, it's, I'm going to go deaf. Every time a, a flashlight or a light comes on, it makes that... Damn! The things this man will do for a discount on a mask. My ex-wife needs to sue this movie for her likeness in those masks back there. Uh, the divorce court ex-wife? Uh, no, the one after that. Number three out of five. You're going for the baker's dozen now, huh, Josh? <laughs> no, I've had, uh, I've had two annulments, so they don't count. <clears throat> so it's three. <laughs> that thing just shoots a laser beam at him. One <laughs> <laughs> more day till Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I knew what time it was and what day it was exactly right now. <laughs> Where they're at. Doctor's office. No. <laughs> factory owner's office. No, there's a doctor's office in the factory, remember? That's you can get the oh, best treatment in the yes. country. Yes, yes. Knit one, pearl two. She's getting gangbanged by three robots right now, sir. That was mother. Nothing screams witch in the season of such like robots that kill people. Uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that, that little voice he made. Somebody's like, God damn it, now I gotta box up all the ticker tape ticker paper all over again. He rips his head off the end, and then it says the time where it happened and what day it is. I've got stamina that you don't know about, buddy. Is that cum coming out of his mouth? It sure looked like it. He's prescribing that robot an ass kicking right now, and he's filling the prescription himself. <laughs> he's a doctor of pain and punishment, and also pleasure, because he, he filled that young gal's prescription for uh, pleasure about five times earlier, said. Clumsy witch robot thing. But now that's over, you dick. You ruined it. I thought a robot came into my dungeon. Five bucks says the doctor's not going to wash that shit off his hands because he hasn't, he hasn't showered or washed his hands in any other scene of this film. He's like, is this... He looks like he put his hand up Christopher Lloyd's asshole in Dennis the Menace after he ate that whole can of beans. <laughs> or... He got it caught in the, uh, what was it called in Roger Rabbit? The I don't know. Gets his, the stuff he gets his hands stuck in that kills tunes. Or the glue. <laughs> Remember the glue? Yes. He gets stuck in at the end. That's what that looks like. Oh, it's Halloween. Here we go. Um, did you ever play Roger Rabbit on Nintendo? Oh, my God. If you, yes, and if anybody watching wants to know what that game's like, watch the Angry Video Game Nerd talk about it. It's horrible. It's really hard. LJN made the worst games. Yeah, that game is really hard. I just remember driving around in the car, the taxi, quite a bit. Yeah. Connell Cochran there. Oh, 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 missed my mark. I know admittance. They're like, before we kill the doctor, can we please wash him? He smells like shit. Let's keep him alive and tell him our master plan. Let him... What? Wait. Yes, the sneeze convinced me he's human. You tricked me. You sly bastard. He has a computer virus. <laughs> Achoo. We're going to have to defrag him after this, after this scene. Oh, Stonehenge. But I'm going to anyways, because <laughs> I'm not a good one. I'm just a lucky one. I'm a hack. <laughs> I'm a hack musician. I am the Muhammad Ali of bad guys in the Halloween franchise. <laughs> I'm going to reveal to you why I'm doing this and how I did it. And then I'm going to give you an opportunity to stop it. Man, all those TVs on those racks remind me of grade school on like a Friday. They went and bought that store out of TVs from earlier. They bought every big screen. You know, there's pieces of Stonehenge that came from different parts of the world that at the time there was no ship that could have hauled them there. That's crazy shit. So you think aliens did it, then? Is that what you're saying? I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. We, we can't, even with our technology, we can't build a pyramid uh, like they did back then, so who knows, man? I saw a. Oh, go ahead. I saw one of the new episodes of Unsolved Mysteries yesterday on Netflix, and 
there's this one episode where there was something in the sky and it was moving like otherworldly and it had lights flashing and everything. And they they play the actual 911 calls wow. that were made. There were hundreds of 911 calls from this city uh, all saying the same thing. I believe that it. Yeah, like it wasn't a hoax. There was hundreds of people and they don't know what it was. Nobody explained what it was. Nothing. Unlike this guy who's explaining that the little pieces of Stonehenge are chipped off, put into a computer chip, attached to a mask, and now we're going to see the effects of that. Can I would like him to explain something to you and I. Can he please explain to us how the doctor was able to have sex with the young girl so many times? Or why, when they say what day it is, the word the is lowercase and everything else is uppercase, like it's yelling at us, but not completely? October the 31st. Okay, second cool scene in the movie. That looks like the living room set of Three's Company. <laughs> looks like right now they're in a submarine. Come and knock on our door. The masks oh. are waiting for you. Mr. Hurley's here. <laughs> Mr. Furley? <laughs> Mr. Furley, yeah. Hello. Hey, J- <laughs> hey Jack. What, what's the Halloween mask you're doing there, Jack? Oh. <laughs> are those worms coming out of your mouth? <laughs> What's the notepad for? Let us know what you think as your son dies. Uh, write down the, you know, the stages of grief you're going through. Just do it in the corner like you do at home. Don't you dare embarrass me, son, in front of all my bosses. I'm a big-time salesman here. Hey, oh, she actually figured it out because somehow they thought they were going to kill every kid in the world in Halloween. That so, looks like the beginning of Saved by the Bell. It's the back computer. <laughs> oh, here we go for the giveaway. So they're, assu- they're assuming that every child in the 80s had TV or access to cable. Because when I was a kid, we didn't even have a phone. I had to walk across the street to make phone calls at our landlord's house. Yeah, so like, had to I have been TV, fine. the kid can't be out trick-or-treating. They have to have the mask, and they have to like be wanting to be home for the giveaway. Like, these witches did not think this through very good but this is a cool scene I, I will give it this is pretty terrifying you know what's actually killing kids in this scene josh the shitty movie no the blinking lights kids are seizures having seizures man oh he was a little shit the dad's like god oh no i was gonna murder him won't take my order for next year and you took away the joy of infant side? Oh my god. So what happens to the parents and the snakes? What, did that, all that stuff come out of the mask? It, the kid's head turned into that. Oh yeah, because you know, that's how science works. Yeah, well, they're witches. There's no science here. It's all witchcraft. He's, that's, that's what's going to happen to every kid around the world because they're all going to have those masks and all going to watch that commercial. He can't give his two-week notice fast enough. He was trying to get out of there so he could keep, give notice. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm not a dad no more. No child support, nothing. Let's get out of here and party. Okay. Uh, he got bit by the rattlesnake, but what happened to the mom? And how did she end up over there? She was on the couch a second ago. So they have to have the mask on to die. Yes, and they have to be watching the commercial. Okay. 
what it is is the witches have been like sacrificing children for eons, and this is their way of like an ultimate end of the world sacrifice. In a way, <laughs> there's in a way they're still kind of doing it, Josh, because whoever watches this movie, a little piece of them dies. You see that that right there, them chipping at uh, that Stonehenge rock is like how this movie has been chipping away at her soul. Joe Bob Briggs is doing the Lord's work by not letting Darcy show this on The Last Drive-In. Oh, he won't allow it? I love it. He, like, hates this movie. It's well known, and she loves it. Oh, Dayton, Ohio. New York, New York. Wait, why does why did the kid get the pumpkin mask with the witch costume? <laughs> Be in front of your TV set at such and such. Uh, fuck you. I'm going to be out getting as much candy as physically possible on Halloween night. Like, I'm staying out till like 10. Well, those, that kid's safe. The one, like, it was a banana. How, wait, how do they address time zones? I suspect that these scenes are not really filmed in these towns that they're saying they're filmed in. Because it all looks like the same place. Wait, is there like, a van driving through every neighborhood and every city in the world? They borrowed the van that was trying to re-elect Mayor Goldie Wilson for this movie. Are those kids, like, up on a mountain? They just, buried, no a dead, they just buried a dead body up there. They're leaving the scene. Okay. And that's the end of the movie, folks. Thanks for watching. That was that wasn't oh shit. Do you remember trying to make a phone call on a rotary phone and if you messed up once you had to start <laughs> over? This woman the has the worst job, man. Not only is she having to use the rotary phone, but she hasn't been able to go to the bathroom or anything for three days. She's like, I'm a big time coroner, doctor, uh, CSI crime scene person, and I, after weeks of studying this crime scene evidence, I have come to the conclusion that I'm pretty sure this isn't human. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a clock. Oh no, they killed the clock guy from Return to Oz. Yeah, they killed TikTok. Uh oh, Michael Myers. Nope. Just, just. A robot witch. No, it's the it's the it's the health inspector. <laughs> he it's wants to make it's the next it's her replacement coroner. She's finally gonna get to go home. No, he just wants to come and make sure the temperatures are correct on all the dressings and that the things are wrapped and dated properly. You're screwed. Like, yeah, this doesn't look human. This does not look like a body part. I, I think this might be from a robot. Listen here, lady. Here's the drill. She's just going to have some uh, dental work done. Is he bringing her tools to put it back together? Or is he going to kill the bitch? What's going on here? And why does a robot that's unbeatable have to be stealthy about it? Just go kill her. And how did she just figure out what all... How did, how did she put anything together by looking at that pile of parts? How could she possibly figure out that it was a robot? And how did the robot know she was going to figure it out at that exact moment? She might have been just calling for pizza. Operator, get me Pizza Hut. Oh, you could have at least showed it. I mean, come on. If you're going to be a shitty movie, at least have some cool practical. This is how witches did it in the 80s, people. They put on business suits and killed people with drills off screen. I wonder what kind of incantation that the witch had to do to operate that drill. I wonder what time it is. I wonder where they're at. I can't believe it's not butter. Wait, that don't work. The Why doctor's like, <laughs> the, doc the doctor's like, this is torture. It's like, uh, what are the straps too tight? No, I haven't had an orgasm in like six hours. He's like, you think you, think you got me in a situation? 
me and my girl were doing this exact same role play earlier. I was just going to say, they could have they could have had him in this exact scenario hours ago by just <laughs> tempting him with light uh, bondage and foreplay. Candy. Oh, he's explaining it. Oh my god, kill me with the mask already. You're Because you're, you're killing me with the, your fucking sob story. With this exposition. This guy's entire role for this film is just to tell you why they're doing what they're doing. Exactly. No, I'm not. I'm not calling you a witch. I need to know which craft are you speaking of. Why does the doctor have a strap around his neck when it's not tight? <laughs> it's just draped over him very loosely. Why have they not just killed him? Like, kill, why keep him? Up? He's like, no, I wanted the pumpkin mask. No, that ma that mask right there. They're like, listen. You're either going to do this film and then you're going to be in Batman Returns as one of the motorcycle people in Penguin's gang. <laughs> or we're going to make you watch this commercial while you're wearing this mask and we're going to kill you now. Oh, thank you. Happy Halloween. That was very polite. Wait, oh yeah, he's killing me. Oh, it's Halloween again on TV. Well, the he's barely, his head is able to move. Shake that fucking thing off, bud. Yeah, right. At least he's letting him watch a classic, you know, great horror movie before he goes. Our luck, we're going to die in our dungeons watching Ghoulies 4. So, okay. <laughs> hey, so they, uh, they're showing clips of Halloween. <laughs> so we're in the Halloween universe, but they're, Halloween is a movie. No, so no, this how... is a separate universe. Michael Myers does not exist in this world other than this is the real world. Okay, I thought I had always come to the understanding that it was all set in the nope. universe of Haddonfield. So this is Nope. You know, I I didn't know what the hell I was getting into here. He's gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> He's got the wiggles. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> gotta go to the bathroom. That six pack he was that was some really bad planning by the villains. To put him in like a wheelchair. Okay, the TV's broke, but he's still still zip tied to that freaking chair. Yes, the doctor will be dead soon. Yes, I, I did tell him our entire plan, but don't worry. He can't get out of those straps. I made sure to bolt the chair to... Jerry, you did bolt the chair to the... You didn't? I'm going to have to call you back, sir. You're telling me that the doctor had such good uh, athleticism and dexterity that he threw that mask over the camera in one toss while he's tied up still to the chair? Dude, he bedded what's her name like three times so he's got skill where is she is she dead yeah they took her i don't know what they did to her i mean i do but i don't want to ruin the movie for you it's always business doing pleasure with you hey i got a question what when the doctor was talking to the coroner was that long distance oh shit yeah he's gonna have a high uh, bill for that hotel room yeah because if it was in the old days You'd want to call someone long distance at nighttime because it'd be cheaper. But if he's calling her long distance constantly, that hotel room bill is going to be ridiculous. And hopefully they didn't have anything from the mini fridge. Because like Toblerone? Because if he ate the Toblerone, woo. Or any liquor from the mini fridge or anything. Oh, you know this guy drank every drop. <laughs> Not kids, dwarves. 
his his brother's a dwarf. He bumps into John McClane up here. <laughs> Happy Halloween, pal! This, just, Season of the Witch, I just don't get it. Wait, camera two, or like, your left eye? Where's the malfunction? I don't know, but robots have... Uh, patience and they're also polite I think this is a mask is this a mask it's not a real head is it why are we using the unprogrammed robots the doctor right now is in the part of the facility before he's dropped into the toilet on a 00, 007 gold night <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Somebody like they know where he's gonna spawn, so he's just gonna hang out up there so he doesn't get murdered immediately. He's like, Should I go save the world or go save my that, that nice piece of ass first? Tell me, would you save her or would you immediately leave town and save the world? I'd pro well, he's older, so the chance of him landing a babe like that again is slim. So yeah, but he's there's gotta... no world, he's not going to be able to get her either. That's a risk I'm going to have to take, Josh. So you're going to save the girl? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> hey, they, you know they have money right there. That's not rotary. Call, is... He's going to call the coroner again. <laughs> she's not going to answer the phone when she's got a drill bit through her head. She answers the phone anyways. <laughs> Hello? I'm bleeding out. For the love of God, shut the fuck up, woman, for once in your life. Okay, maybe don't talk to her like you're getting head. And maybe she'll listen to you. He's like, the, the, the silver the sham rock masks. You're just jealous because I got them better masks. Yeah, you really tried to save your kids there, buddy. So oh, damn. Well, I guess that's it. I can't. Call, I couldn't possibly call back. <laughs> right? They're fucked. They seem like they're more trouble than he cares to put up with, anyways. I mean, he traded them for her. Oh, first room I checked. That's luck. I wasn't looking earlier, but I did happen to see his crotch at one point, like his pants. Yeah. And it was like flat. And in this scene, it's like he had a cup on. So I think he was like, let's, let's make it look like I got a bulge. Let's build it up a little bit. Just like women in the 80s would have shoulder pads in all their outfits. He's like, I need a shoulder pad right in my crotch area. So should we have him actually look through rooms to find her no at this point there's only like 13 minutes left of the movie first room she's in there passed out but she jumps right up and runs off with him he, right now he's not even looking for a place to escape he's looking for a place where they can be alone we could probably here, bone back here she does some stuff here that doesn't make any sense when something else happens in about seven minutes I'm just going to leave it at that and let the people in the comment section uh, fill us in on what they think the reason is. This is an actual physical representation of what the internet looked like in 1983. This is how it was ran. This is the internet right here. Al Gore is walking into his invention right there. Look, behold the internet. Is that why it's called the algorithm? Absolutely. And uh, the first... Internet service was called Man Bear Pig. Half man, half bear, half pig. <laughs> and he's super serial. Super serial. He's a champion bowler, too. Man Bear Pig is, is hoax, fake news. This looks like... He's hoping so that's a drink token at a... 
at an event they're having later on so we can get free drinks at the bar. Wait, so they're little, they're super mega powered chips are just laying around in boxes? I thought they went well, straight to the mask. That's like people that have money, you know, you'll just find paychecks lying around their house because they don't need it. That's kind of what's going on here. Okay. They don't need it. They've got it. Remember that he told her to wait and she listened. <laughs> it's the back computer, I swear. That looked like the Death Star on that screen. Ladies and gentlemen, the very first prototype for the Light Bright. I'm sorry, I can't hear you because the music just went from zero to like a thousand. Okay, there we go. He turned it down for us. Good thing he knew what all those buttons did. What he did was pretty clever. Oh, here it is. Oh, there's a whole box of the little pins. Okay. Watch the magic pumpkin. Sounds like something that Predator would say. Well, the Doctor, that's not the only premature thing he's done in this film. Oh, you're going to love this. This is actually pretty, pretty great. <laughs> Look at that shitty pyrotechnic. <laughs> All of a sudden, Goldberg steps out of it, starts spitting smoke. Did he get Cochran? Oh, no, Cochran survived. He's the lead robot witch vampire. You got to kill him first before you can kill all the other ones, or else there'll be robot witch vampires for life. Are we throwing vampires into the mix now? Yeah. Okay. Just for the fuck of it. Yeah, he's... <laughs> he looks more like... Was he just holding... Was he taking a piss that whole time? I don't know, but he's been walking around this entire film in wingtips, man. His feet ha must be fucking killing him. Uh-oh. Dude, people with, like, epilepsy would be fucked watching this movie. Oh, yeah, I said that earlier. That, yeah. that's, the, that's the real people that they fucked up. Bravo, Doctor. So... Is Cochran screwed? I'm going to say yeah, because you asked. What's... <laughs> huh? <laughs> that just looks so funny. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Looked... His face is so bad. That looked like he was entering the AHA Take On Me video. Yes. <laughs> don't take away. I don't know who, what, what, just say it, say it anyway. Okay. You saw what they just did, right? Him and her? Like, yeah. taking out all the bad guys? Pretty badass team, right? Yeah, she's obviously a robot at this point. So why the fuck would she help him? <laughs> Wait, I thought he just took out the central hub. How would the commercial still work? She's she's actually the one. Uh, she is the central hub. He, if he wasn't such a sexist, he would have figured out something was wrong that she hadn't talked this whole time. He thought she just finally knew her place and to shut her mouth. So, <laughs> I just got canceled. Wow, it looked like they really ran their car into a tree. That was actually pretty pretty good. Thanks for the ride, lady. Thanks for the ride. Where did she go? So where did the real her get blown up, or did they just kill her? Is he, is he like, 
I know you're a robot, but can we go just like one more time? Um, I don't even have to know how they made you so quickly in like 20 minutes or whatever. Just one more romp. She'd have the ultimate robot stamina in bed, though, dude. Yeah. That's actually not serum coming out of her mouth. That's something else. So, okay, so she, the real lady's dead. Yes, apparently. But why did she help him? Why would the robot that they made help him kill its creator and everybody? Why? It was, just, this whole scene was for shock value, and it makes no goddamn sense. Why would the previous robot um, sneeze? Like, what was that all about? That was just to show him how real they can be. That's stupid. Well, give me a hand. Oh, he can still get a hand job. He's good. Oh, shit. Yeah, he can take that with him. I bet he likes that grip, too. He don't even have to, like, let his own arm go numb. Yeah, that's the first actual living sex doll. This is, like, 30 years before the first one hit the market. You think the people filming right now are like, oh, this is going to be some good shit. People in theaters are going to be like, Kids, quit watching. You're gonna have nightmares for weeks. This I think is they good knew. Shit. I think they knew this movie sucked when they made it. This movie is not scary. It's dumb. It had a couple cool effects, like the kid and the woman in the hotel room. I will give it that. Because of those two scenes, it gets at least like a half a star. They it had the capabilities to be better. Are you kidding me? This woman is insatiable. Who is this yes. woman who has an insatiable love for the dead? Living dead girl. Robot. She's, to, she's still trying to reach up and grab that Dr. Johnson. <laughs> Johnson and Johnson. He's got a master's in Johnson. So he's just running home? Really? He's got, he's got 10 minutes to call every major network and get them to pull the commercial. <laughs> And from that day forth, anywhere I went, that doctor was running. Mama said they was my magic shoes. They'd take me anywhere. Mama said it was my magic mask. Oh, this poor gas station guy. God damn it. This poor he just, guy. <laughs> he just, dude, he just wanted the night shift so he could, you know, do his homework and. He left the other gas station. Oh, my God. Okay, you said, please, we'll take it off. It's like, we don't believe you. We think you're crazy, but you're just so damn polite. Wow. And they, it worked. And are you a doctor? Because oh. we'd like to sleep with you. Call the other station. <laughs> Fox. Fox is like, fuck you. <laughs> Josh, you know what's not believable? This gas station guy has seen the doctor twice, and not once has he tried to sleep with him. Oh, good point. My kids are watching... Oh, wait, he wouldn't think of his kids, would he? <laughs> God, this sounds like any conversation me and you have ever had with Master Evil about any movie he's ever made us watch. That was us screaming at the at the movie right there. Just stop it. Stop. Yeah. Stop. So so the bad guys won. Every kid in the world who didn't go as a superhero or something is dead. But their souls and their sacrifices for nothing because all the witches that were gonna benefit from it are dead now. Um uh, yeah. So super sad ending. The, assass uh, the assassin's yeah. name is Dick Warlock. Oh, wow. That's the guy that played... Uh, didn't he play Michael Myers in one of the movies? I don't know, man. I swear Dick Warlock played him. Somebody in the comments, please let me know if I'm right. I'm going to look it up when we're done here. Um, if the internet still works after Master Evil cuts off the movie. 
uh, the book ended even more depressing, buddy. Uh, you could hear kids screaming at the gas station, like down the road. Yeah. Like in the book, it says the the night was filled with screams, and the dad, the guy, actually called home and heard his kids screaming and dying in the background. Yeah, man. Um, can you imagine being this gas station attendant though, and like the incident log book? That thing would be filled out from the first page to the end, man. He'd be writing on the back sheets. Too many Special. incidents happening. Right? Like, the he just watched those kids die right there and turn into snakes and stuff. Three kids so, came in, watched Halloween TV while, you know, at night it was real cute. All of a sudden their heads turned into bees, crickets, and snakes. <laughs> yes, I know that this is my second strike because of that guy the other day with the mask. Oh, the labor foreman. For all the robots, first aid. You know, two two people for first aid there. Construction painter. So a painter. <laughs> Transportation captain. <laughs> Dialogue editor. Okay, Ken Sweet, you're never gonna work in this town again. You're done. <laughs> Motor police. Doug and Bob Laird. Title sequence by John Wash. John Wash, you're never going to work in this town again. Silver Shamrock commercial. Does that mean that guy made the commercial or was in the commercial? Animation, Kurt. Oh, you mean the pumpkin? Okay, good job, pumpkin. So when that gal was drinking the Coke, was that just, they just... Coke didn't care, or they paid to have the Coke in this film. I, you know what? I didn't see that in there, but uh, the movie's over. Happy Halloween. I guess let's go see what Master Evil's got in store for us. I can't imagine what the next movie's going to be. Can't be oh, any worse than this one. You're still there? You're still sane? Oh my goodness, Mr. Flivel. Oh, my poor kitty. We failed again. Oh well, better luck next time. So, Joshy. You know, just so that I, I can prove that I'm not a bad loser, though I am. The family and I have decided that we're going to allow you and Alex to go trick-or-treating. Yes! Mother Eve will be around in a little bit, and she'll bring you a couple of garbage bags. And we'll send you out to get candy. And, of course, to make sure that you don't take a hike. You know, try to do a runner. We're going to set you up with shock collars. If you try to run away, we are going to zap you. But don't worry. We'll take all the good candy that you get and leave you with this crappy stuff. Oh, yes, we're not going to let you have the good candy. No. No, this is for us. So that we can get a lot of Nice candy. Alrighty, well, I'm going to have to sit down and think about what the next movie is going to be. It's going to have to be something nastier than Halloween 3. So anyways... That's it for the Slash Tracks Halloween Special 
and from Ma Mischief Level Sister Evil and Radio Clown and I guess Josh and Alex. Happy Halloween! <laughs> what up Josh? What up Alex Slash Track? What's going on? I'm busting in the damn head! <laughs>